Dozens of protesters are gathered here on the streets of Toronto hoping for a Christmas miracle that will save a Christian Nigerian family from deportation and what they believe will be certain death. The kids started telling me stories about some people, strangers walking up to them and telling them, tell your parents that if you want to be alive, if you tell your parents to convert back to Islam. If I get deported back to Nigeria, I'll get killed. My life will get cut short. And it just started. I'm just 14 and I don't want to die. People gather here because the story of this family from Nigeria, the Koya family, they have touched many people hard. Converted from Islam to Christianity in Nigeria and uh, facing persecution, facing rape, killing from extremist groups. It's a message to our immigration minister. It's a message because he has the power to interfere. The family's asylum claim has been denied by our government and an immigration and refugee board judge stated they could return to Nigeria in a Christian majority area. However, Marufat Ogankoya believes they will never be able to escape the threats of her father, who is a powerful figure in the extremist Islamic organization Nazril Fathia, which is affiliated with Boko Haram. I can't believe that a country like Canada, which is supposed to be compassionate and humanitarian, will not let this family stay. It just really hurts that uh, they're in this situation, so we're trying to support them as best as we can. I plead to Canadians and to the government to please consider us as their own kids and their own family. To find out more about the Ogun Koya's plight and how you can get involved, visit onefreeworldinternational.org. Here in Toronto, Sean Sante, Zoomer News.